Dear learners, greetings of the day. In this session, we are going to learn about most common small equipment utilized in bar. This equipment play an important role in increasing the efficiency in operation. The objective of this session are to know various types of small bar equipment to understand the use of each equipment. Before we move on to the session, it is important for all the bartenders to know the use of equipments to raise the game and exceed customers' expectations by delivering an amazing cocktail in short period of time. Most of today's bar equipments can be traced to post-prohibition days. It fits handy in compact spaces and is designed for both high speed and easy service. Just as chefs have their favorite set of knives that they guard, bartenders have their favorite tools. All the professional bartenders generally agree that the simpler the tool or equipment, the better is the service. For bartenders, space and time are significant and hence buying high quality tools is important because no one can afford to waste time at a busy bar struggling with poor quality equipment and doing so can affect the quality of the service and prove inefficient. Considering the equipment and that we are going to see, most of the equipment that are small equipment in the bar are made of stainless steel. Stainless steel is the metal of choice for most of the equipment as it looks good, it is durable and is easy to clean. Moving ahead with the session, first set of small bar tools or equipment is that we're gonna study is utilized for mixing and pouring. And second group of equipments in this session are more towards preparation of garnishes for drinks. Let's talk about first equipment. It's known as jigger. It's also referred as bag measure. Jiggers are used for pouring accurate amount of spirit in the glass and is a legal requirement in most countries. Bag measures are beneficial to avoid spillage and also helps in controlling the stock. It is a small container that measures ounces of liquor used for cocktails and other mixed drinks. One ounce of liquid equals approximately 30 milliliters. Looking at the picture, the smaller part of the equipment denotes 30 ml, also referred as single or a small shot, whereas the bigger part of the equipment refers or denotes 60 ml, that is also known as large or a double shot. Moving to the next equipment called as pourer. Pourers are also referred as speed pourers or spot pourers. Pourers are available in stainless steel or plastic. It is a device that fits into the neck of a beverage bottle and is constructed to reduce the rate of flow to a predictable and controllable amount. A pourer is usually used on every open liquor bottle at the bar. For the efficient use of pourers, bartenders should check air holes are clean and free from obstruction. Plastic pourers come in different colors and can be utilized to color code different types of liquors in the bar for easy operations. Pourers also come in handy while hosting big parties. Now let's watch a small video to understand practical use of a pourer.
going on, the next equipment is useful to make stir cocktails, for example, martini and manuel. A mixing glass is a hemi glass container with a lip or spout. Ice and ingredients are added in the mixing glass, stirred with the help of bar spoon, and then poured in a glass well. Lip or spout of the glass helps in easy pouring and avoids any spillage of the drink. A typical mixing glass has a capacity of 16 to 17 ounces. We also need to understand mixing glass should be heat treated and chip proof to avoid any kind of accident. Let's watch a small video to understand the use of mixing glass in the bar. Our next equipment is called as Boston Shaker. It is made of two parts. One part is a toughened glass while the other is metal. Stainless steel container is also known as a mixing cup, mixing steel or a mixing can. Cocktails are prepared in the glass half and the metal half is fitted on top and has to be secured before shaking the drink. Most professional bartenders prefer Boston Shaker for high volume capacities. Also, understand to open the shaker after shaking the drink, it requires a skill or fitness to open it properly. Our next equipment is called as Bouton Strainer, commonly known as Bar Strainer or cocktail strainer, the name Hoton has a piece of history attached. While most people think the name of strainer is after somebody called Mr. Hoton, however, it is or the strainer earned its name because of its use at the bar called the Hoton. Hoton strainer is used to strain ice from drinks. When a bartender prepares the drinks, he places the Hoton strainer over the glass with a spring side inside and pours the liquid or the drink in the desired glassware. Looking at the picture, Hoton strainer has a round wire coil on the handle which fits over the top of the shaker or mixing glass and also has ears that fit over the rim of the glass to keep it in position. Let's The next equipment known as muddler. Muddler is a wooden tool that looks like little like a baseball bat. Muddler is specifically utilized in making cocktails which use fresh herbs or fruits. It is utilized to crush 
the fresh fruit or the herbs to extract flavors. A very popular example of a muddled drink is mojito. And marla is utilized to crush sugar and mint leaves for a mojito. Let's take a look at a short video to understand the use of marla in a practical way. Moving ahead, we have another equipment that is bar spoon. Bar spoon is a shallow spoon with a long handle used for store drinks like martini. It is also used while making lead cocktails. The spoon and the handle are stainless steel, typically 10 or 11 inches long and the bowl equals to around one teaspoon. Bar spoons are also utilized to remove garnishes from the bottle jars. For example, cherries, which are utilized in the garnish. Moving ahead, other equipments, ice scoop and ice tongs. Ice plays a vital role in cocktails and it is as important as other ingredients of the drink. Ice has to be handled in a hygienic way. Hence, an ice scoop, as the name implies, is an implement or equipment for scooping ice from ice beam. It usually has six to eight ounce capacity. Ice tongs, are designed to handle one cube of ice at a time. They serve an important function because ice that goes in drink should not be touched by human hands. We also see ice tongs utilized while doing the service of syrup. For example, if anybody asks for whiskey on the rocks, a person has to make sure that ice tongs are provided or ice tongs are taken with the ice bucket to pick up the ice that will go in the glass of before pouring whiskey. So the next equipment known as glass rimmer. Glass rimmer is a handy gadget which is used to rim the glass with salt or sugar. It is also known as margarita tray. It usually has three compartments or trays. First tray contains of a sponge that is saturated with lemon or lime juice. The second contains layer of salt and the third contains layer of sugar. Depending on the cocktail that you're making, for example, if one is making margarita, the glass has to be rimmed with salt and if it is a side guard, the glass has to be rimmed with sugar. Hence, this tool is important in bar. Another or other small equipments include fruit squeezer and funnel. A fruit squeezer is a hand-powered gadget that squeezes half a lemon or lime for a single drink, straining seed and pulp and giving you the amount of sugar, the amount of lemon juice required. Funnel. Funnels, one will think that what is the need in bar, but most of the bars make homemade mixtures or have infusions in bulk quantity, which are to be transferred in plastic bottles for regular use. That is when funnels come into picture. Funnels come in different sizes and also looking at the picture, one funnel is with strainer. That particular type of 
panel is utilized specifically when the freshly squeezed juice has to be transferred to a smaller bottle. The strainer will help to remove all the seeds or any residues that are not required in the juice. Hence, panels are equally important as other equipment in the bar. Before we move to the next section and understand equipments utilized for garnishment, let me speak about these two notable mentions, one julep strainer and the other one three-piece shaker, also known as standard shaker. A julep strainer was the first purpose-built cocktail strainer. It was originally designed and intended to be used by drinkers and not bartenders. It was designed to enjoy ice drinks before the invention of plastic straws. The drinker would use the strainer to hold back the ice in the drink while they took a sip, especially drinks that were made with crushed ice. A fun fact about julep strainer. In mid, late, in mid to late 19th centuries, julep strainer was very popular accessory and was common wedding or a birthday gift then. Today, julep strainers are used to strain stirred drinks. One simply has to put concave side on the top of the glass and hold down as you pour the drink. Moving to the next equipment in the picture, three-piece shaker. Not many people know about this name, but three-piece shaker is also referred as a cobbler shaker. It has three parts, a cup or a tin part, a strainer and a lid. The main advantage of this shaker is an inbuilt strainer. To use, one has to fill the tin part with ice and ingredients, fix the cap or the lid and shake the tin until it is cold and misty. Once it is steady, open the lid and pour the drink in the glass. In case of a bartender wants the drink to be very, very clear and to avoid any residues falling in the drink, one can use fine strainer to double strain the drink. Now, before we move to the next section on tools and equipments for garnishing, take a look at this picture. This particular picture is all about garnishes or various garnishes that are utilized in making of cocktails. Garnish is an equal, equally important component of any particular cocktail. As it implies to food that visually your drink, visually your dishes should look good, it is also applicable to drinks and hence to make your drinks more appealing, garnishes play a very important role. In this first picture, you can see various garnishes which include of pearl onions, jalapeno, olives, lemon, limes, celery stick. And the second picture is a current trend in the market, something called as dehydrated fruit slices. Dehydrated? Well, they are sustainable, they are durable, and are trending in today's market. Now let's take a look at something that's really important and common in kitchen as well as a bar. Now one will think, what is the need to have a cutting board or a chopping board in bar? But it is a very important equipment and has to be in each workstation in a bar so that a bartender can prepare garnishes and fresh fruits. It is ideal to use a damp cloth underneath a chopping board or a cutting board as it provides grip and also avoids any leakage or fruit juices that flow. Chopping boards are available in materials like plastic, rubber and wood. Wood surely is the most pleasant surface to work on but a health board creates us as a health hazard because it is hard to keep bacteria free. And also, not to forget, 
chopping boards or cutting boards do get messy and hence it is ideal to clean them frequently during the shift and at the end of the shift. To the next equipment, bar knives. This particular equipment is also seen in kitchen and in bars. Bar knives are available from small to medium size. Sharp, straight headed knife, like one in the picture, is better than a serrated knife. Serrated knife is one with the teeth. As serration in the knife can tear the fruits and will not produce a good quality garnish. Sharp knives are better than blunt knives to avoid accidents. Small knives are utilized for slicing, taking the ends of the fruits and dealing with softer fruits. While medium or large knives are used while dealing with large fruits like watermelon, pineapple and a grapefruit. Moving to the next equipment, called as relish fork. A relish fork is a long 10 inch thin, two thin stainless steel fork designed for gently reaching narrow neck bottles for olives and onions. We have cocktails, for example, martini, where the garnish is olives and they have to be removed out of a narrow bottle. This is where relish fork comes into picture. Some of the relish forks in the market also have a spring device that helps them to secure the olive or onion firmly. Going to the next equipment, Zesto. Zesto is a special cutting tool for making the twist of lemon that some drinks call for. This tool peels away the yellow part or the yellow color skin which has or which contains zesty oil and does not touch the white underskin which is generally bitter and can ruin the taste of the cocktail. Going to the last equipment, condiment tray. Various garnishes are required in the bar and preparing them in advance helps the bartender to speed up the operations. All the garnishes are stored in different compartments of a condiment tray, which is a perfect solution to separate the garnishes in a clean and concise order. The tray should never be located directly above the ice bin, as many health boards define this as a potential hazard because of dropping food into ice. Having a condiment tray is very efficient and helps in faster bar operations. Before we conclude with this session, let's have a short revision. Looking at the slide, you see three different pictures. I hope by now you're able to identify the equipments that are utilized in the bar. The first equipment that we see is a bar spoon. Bar spoon. The use of bar spoon is very important while making any stirred drink or stirred cocktails. Popular example of a stirred cocktail is martini. Second equipment that we see is very important again in the bar, something called as a speed pourer or a spout pourer. This particular pourer or this is a small device or a small particular gadget which is uh, which fits on the neck of the bottle, well, it is available in stainless steel as well as in plastic. And in plastic, it comes with various colors. One with plastic can be utilized for color coding for, uh, of different liquor that is present in the bar for easy operations. One also has to be careful with the air holes that are present in the sweet pourer, whether they are clean and are free from obstruction for free pouring. Going to the last equipment. Well, you might have guessed it. It is a shaker, but very specifically, a three-piece shaker, or also called as a cobbler shaker. 
a three piece shaker has three particular parts the cap, you have the lid, and you have the tin. The tin or the cup is in which you add your ice and ingredients for shaken cocktails. Students of AISSMS College of Hotel Management need to click on the link given in the description column below and attempt the quiz. Thank you. Happy learning.